and welcome back to the waystone my name is Nergath, and in the previous episode we got our chicken shop up and running and in between episodes um i say it's doing well <laughs> so yeah that's that's a, to a good start and as you saw i am now in full diamond armor uh went ahead enchanted some of that uh, equipment there I went to uh, Fosa's Blaze Shop, or not his Blaze Shop, his Blaze Farm, and grind out some levels and whatnot, and then came back and changed some tools and the armor. Got an efficiency four diamond shovel, an embarky three efficiency four diamond axe, and then of course my uh, my armor, which I got to get protection four on that. I uh, do have a book of protection four, which I may put on there. And then we got protection for leggings and protection for helm. Yeah, this that perfect. You know, there's uh you know, I still need to get unbreaking three on this. Have a protect uh, protection on that's uh, not bad, but I'm thinking I probably want to get blast protection on at least one of these. Um but we're off to a good start, I think. So I think the plan for today is to start off by heading over to the base, doing the thousand blocks challenge, and as was suggested in the comments by one of you, I'm going to time lapse that a little bit, and then we'll go from there. I think what I want to do today is going to be more of like a, I guess, beautifying this area. <laughs> I guess would be the best way to put it. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this into like. You know, some kind of little park or, you know, with like a little bit of a pond, you know, maybe put some fish in and things like that. Um, other than that, you know, I still have some more grass that I need to grow over here, you know, put some stuff up in here. May, yeah, do some work on that. And I think the other thing I want to do is that very treasure map that I showed in the last episode. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that and uh, <laughs> cross the figures that it's not uh, already been looted. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to head over to the base, and uh, I think I'm actually going to take you guys with me this time uh, when I head out to the base. So, let's go ahead and empty our inventory of stuff we don't need. Okay, now that the inventory has been, well, mostly cleared. Put those up. <laughs> we, don't, <laughs> we don't need those. Uh, let's go ahead and head on down. So I do have a portal down here, but right now this links up to the same portal as a spawn one, and I don't have any plans to adjust that. Um, this is an easy way for me to get to uh, the nether hub for right now. Uh, if it becomes a problem, I will take it out, of course, but I don't think it'll be a problem. So anyway, uh, to get to my place, we have this path right here, and then we have this pillar. This pillar has a ladder all the way to the top. And then once we get up there, we run about, I think it's like a thousand blocks or so. And then we get to the portal that I had made a couple episodes ago. Yeah, once we're up on top of the uh, ladder, we come to this little clearing here. This is where I had put a temporary portal, um, assuming that we were going to be making <laughs> the nether up sooner than we are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a little bit higher than what the nether hub is possibly going to be at. Uh, the reason being is I came in here with my camera account and uh, 105, which was the original level we were looking at, was good for the immediate area. But going out towards my base, that, was, that would have been so annoying. Uh, mainly because I, I would have had to do so much uh, bridging as opposed to going up five more blocks and yeah, 
having like you know just having little stints like this this is this is like the most i was pillaring or the bridging over so yeah put it up at 110 and we're i'm sticking to that for right now if i need to move my portals level down i'm okay with that you know i'll just keep my actual tunnel to one on 110 and we'll go from there once we actually get the nether hub in uh, I'm not sure exactly when that's going to happen or anything like that, but yeah, that'd be nice when it does. And when, I, when we do figure out where the nether hub is going to go in, that's when I'm going to put in an ice track. So going, you know, this entire distance is pretty painless. <laughs> right now, this is just kind of a just long walk. And that's also why I haven't bothered with the, uh, the height of it or anything like that. It's just a two wide, one wide you know, tunnel, it just goes straight to it. Um, once I put in the ice boat, yeah, then I can open it up. Kind of make it look pretty cool. Yeah, then I suppose I could put like trap doors above it and make the trick a little bit faster, but, and go through a lot of food, but that's not that big of a deal. Especially since I have the chicken shop. All right, so we are almost to the end of this tunnel here. Like I said, it's a little bit of a trek. But once you get the ice uh, path in, won't be that big of a deal. It's part of why I got all that packed ice from that iceberg. Um, but I need to go get more. Uh, because packed ice is going to be something I'm going to use quite a bit. And here we are to the portal. Uh. There you go. And later on, of course, I'm planning on, you know, like I said, not only decorating the tunnel, but I'm also going to decorate the tunnel or the, uh, the uh, portal. Kind of make it obvious that you kind of up on my portal kind of deal, you know, <laughs> so, but that will also be once I figure out the final place of where I want my portal to be. Uh, I may actually have multiple portals now that I think about it. One for, you know, coming like to the main base, one to like my mob farm or something and yeah, things like that. So anyway, now that we are here, it's time to get on with our second um, mining challenge. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead, time lapse it, and I will see you guys in a bit. And welcome back everyone so as you can see we are clearly not at the base we are not in the mines <laughs> uh, reason being is my suck touch pickaxe <laughs> 
is uh, pretty much dead, and I went to go fix it. And kind of, it's gonna be a little expensive. And if I'm not mistaken, if I repair it this time, the next time I think it'll be like too expensive, or it may, it, the cost may just go up. If that, that's the case, that's fine. I can grind out those levels, no big deal. But kind of thinking I'm gonna try try to get uh, mending on it. Um, getting mending on my gear wouldn't be a bad thing as a whole. Um, and I originally I was thinking on waiting till I had uh, some villagers to do that. But I'm starting to think that maybe I should make an AFK fish farm until I get the villagers. And I'm trying to think of where I want to put it. I'm kind of thinking I could put it over here. Kind of terraform this a little bit and then just kind of have it out here where I can also still have a nice little view <laughs> into you, this area right here. That might be kind of cool. And wouldn't be too hard for me to make a little entranceway like over here. I mean, this is the back of my sugarcane farm, so I could have it kind of. I don't know, around here somewhere. I mean, I gotta, I gotta fix this up anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of terraforming, get the uh, farm all set up and ready to go, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, and welcome back, everyone. So, I've gone through and I've made the AFK fish farm, and I've done a fair bit of AFK there. Uh, my last session, though, <laughs> I kind of broke the the fishing pole that I had. <laughs> I somehow bumped my mouse before I left my computer and uh, yeah, it, it kind of broke. But before that, it got uh, a fair bit of stuff. There's more here than what's, you know, what I have here. I, I have a bunch of other stuff that I already emptied out. But yeah, I've got plenty of fish, obviously. Saddles, you know, the normal stuff. Uh, 22 Nautilus shells, so that'll be pretty nice if we find some more Heart of the Seas. So, that'll be really nice. Got some name tags here. I was going to do something with these guys, but we're running into a little bit of an issue here. Where mobs are just not spawning. <laughs> I mean, it's good in the sense that uh, we don't have to worry about, you know, being attacked by mobs and whatnot, but when we actually want mobs, that's kind of a problem. And I think it has something to do with the uh, the aquatic mob cap is uh, playing a role in that. But any anyway, uh, if you're curious, the mob or the AFK fish farm design that I use is the one that uh, Zoom Void recently put out. I'm probably going to tear it out and put in one of the older ones. This one works. It's just not that great in my opinion. But, yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, you'll also notice that I have clear glass up there. Related to the mobs not spawning, we also don't have squid spawning, so I can't get any ink sacs right now. <laughs> so, they're staying clear until I can get some ink sacs. And I also need to figure out how I want to get down to that spot. And I'll probably put some other stuff down there later on. But, anyway, uh, as far as other stuff I got, I did get this mini book here which I want to put on my Silk Touch pickaxe, but I need to get uh, 38 levels before I can do that. And other than that, we got a bunch of other good stuff here. Some Feather Falling, some Loyalty, Protection, Frostwalker, you yeah, know, things like that. Some pretty good stuff here. Yeah, not sure if I want to keep that one because of the Curse of Binding, but yeah, it could be okay. Got Riptide, so I just need to get, get myself a Trident eventually, but with Drowned not spawning, well, it's kind of hard to get tried. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and get mending on my soap touch pickaxe. You can go grind out the, the levels here real quick. And we are going to take care of this very treasure map and hope that it's not uh, empty. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done and I'll be back in just a minute. So um, guys, we got a little bit of a problem here. I'm just boating around and I, I, I'm taking damage. I don't know why. Oh, hi! We have a visitor! <laughs> yeah, the boat around finally found one, just... Go ahead, going around. So, I'm trying to get back to spot as quickly as possible before daylight comes. And hopefully without dying. So I'm gonna hop out here to sec so I can heal. 
Uh -huh. You got to reach me. But I'm not going to name him until I get him in the post office, just in case, you know, he happens to burn and die and all that, that stuff. But, uh, yeah, I had to go out quite a ways before I saw mob spawning, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. Alright, and welcome back, everyone. So, that treasure map was another bust. <laughs> but it wasn't all a loss. So, first, we got Llama Stick in the post office. <laughs> so he's working away, getting everything all sorted, starting everyone's mail and all that kind of good stuff. And I uh, get a little something from a little round while I was out there, so not too upset about it. I would have preferred to not have loyalty on it, as I kind of would have rather had Riptide on it for once I get a uh, an Elytra. But loyalty will work just fine. Um, as a matter of fact, I yeah, I can upgrade it. I'm thinking I had a better loyalty bot. There we go. Loyalty 3. I'm not sure if there's loyalty 4. Let's find out. So, otherwise... I could possibly do the uh, Cursed Binding and Breaking for that. Might not be too bad. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's look into that. See how much this will set us back. Okay, so loyalty 3 is the highest we can get. Let's get that back. Oh, what did I have there? Why is that there? <laughs> Alright. So let's go ahead. How much would this cost? K3 that way. 7 that way. Alright. So let's go ahead and get that one in there. Let's see, here's 7 for that. Alright. So we'll have. Oh, it, it can't take the curse of binding. Oh, even better. Aha! Alright. So now I just need to get. Mending on it, which I gotta go fishing for that. But uh yeah, we gotta we got trade. Woohoo. So yeah, if I'm gonna go ahead my trade over here for now until I can get mending on it. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some things prepared. Uh as you can see I also got some ink sacks as well. Not, not too many, but it might be enough to convert all those to black stained glass. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I want to do now is I want to do some work in this area right here. I want to kind of I don't know, turn it into like a little parkish type area. Maybe we'll put a little fountain in it and stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and take out these stone brick stairs. So I figure I still want to be able to walk down here into Frim's area here. Um, which I haven't shut off too much, but. Yeah, he's been doing stuff here with a uh, certain mob <laughs> and being mean to one. But, uh, yeah, being able to walk down here would still be nice to be able to do. Uh, may even light up this little area right here. Not that we need to, you know, being as much environment and all, but it might not hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and get some things put together. Maybe start putting some stuff in here, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. So I was just over here talking to Llama Stick and listening to all his complaints about how he doesn't have his own office, which technically he does. He just can't go to it because he needs to do his job. Do your job. Go on. Go on. Come on. Go do your job. Go on. You know what you need to do. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> so I went ahead, finished up what I'm going to be doing over here for today. Uh, I think it's looking actually pretty good. You know, it's a nice little quiet area where you can come over here, relax, you know, smell the nice cooked fancy chicken over there. Maybe buy a stack or two or 20. <laughs> or you can come over here and just watch our derpy fish just sit there or play in his waterfall. Or what he's been doing the most of the time is going up into his hole over there and just hanging out. I'm thinking I should rename him Derp. <laughs> or Derpy Fish or something like that. Because, yeah, he's a Derp. But, yeah, anyway, I think this is actually looking pretty good. You know, it, it's a very nice, naturistic feel area that you can just come relax. Now... In between episodes, I'm thinking I may do a little bit of work on this, or I may do this next episode, I don't know. But um, I kind of want to do a little bit of terraforming on this, 
yeah, kind of make it look more like a normal, natural mountain range, uh, including, you know, some terraforming, put some spruce trees along, you know, going up it, you know, and stuff like that. I think I may work on that. And you are freaking me out with you just standing right there in the waterfall. Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think this is actually looking pretty good. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. And while we're over here, let's go ahead and see if we've made any sales here. Yeah, no surprise on the ready to cook chicken. And out of the kitchen chicken, ooh, two more. Very nice. Can't be upset with that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think uh, you can call this project pretty much done. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do some work over at the base location now. Uh, there's a small little project I want to work on over there. So I'm going to go ahead and head over there and I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everyone. So I was in the process of finishing up my thousand block challenge. And uh, I originally had planned on putting in like a, uh, a storage room over here at the new base location, which I may still do that um yeah but uh kind of came across something here <laughs> so that's something that i kind of want to work on i may do a little bit of work on this in between episodes you know kind of get it ready so that i can actually put it all together and all that but yeah i, I just uh, was you know doing my little mine here and uh, came across this little cave and was lighted up. Yeah, because uh, well, <laughs> I'm not in the mushroom biome, so I kind of want to light it up. And uh, yeah, stepped across this. As far as what's in the chest here, we got another music disc, so that's pretty cool. A little bit of weed string. The string is definitely nice. Uh, but I've been needing, <laughs> needing that a good bit. Rot flesh, golden horse armor, some bread, and then a golden apple. So not a bad haul there. But yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and let you guys know that I did find a skeleton spawner, so yeah, look for that here soon. Because <laughs> I do have a skeleton, uh, an idea for what I want to do with this already. You know, I just didn't know if or when I'd be finding a skeleton spawner, so now that's been answered. And uh, yeah, it's actually not too far either. Yeah, I mean, it's almost at the end of, you know, one of my 1,000 block tunnels here. Uh, we're about... 400 blocks away from being a thousand blocks out, so not upset with that at all. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this thousand block uh, challenge and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back, everyone. So, finished the thousand block challenge and we got 28 diamonds, eight emeralds out of that. So, not a bad haul. So, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get everything I need ready for making my little warehouse that I'm gonna or storage room thing <laughs> gonna be put out here. I think I'm gonna make it more like a warehouse. Um it's gonna be just more of temporary storage than anything else. Uh while I get everything moved out here that I wanna get moved out here, get some supplies built up for building the base. And yeah. Uh, as far as like where I wanna put it, I haven't fully decided yet. So that's the other thing I need to do, <laughs> is figure out exactly where I want to put this thing. Um, but I'm thinking close to the portal will be good. And yeah, that way, you know, I can, if I need something back at spawn, I can, you know, hop through the portal, grab it, and head back pretty quickly. So I'm thinking, like, this big open area here might be a good spot. Uh, it's not going to be anything super fancy. You know, it's not going to have automated storage or anything like that. No automated sorting. It'll just be, uh, you know, well, a warehouse. <laughs> Bunch of chests and stuff like that for sorting items that I can put in manually. And, yeah, we'll go from there. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make this ring go away. And uh, get everything ready to go. And I'll be back with you guys in a moment. All right. Welcome back, everyone. So, I figured out where I'm going to be putting my... A uh, little storage room that I'm going to be putting in. And it's going to be over there. And like I kind of mentioned, this is going to be a temporary storage. It's not going to be the main storage. So this isn't going to be anything crazy, nothing super special. But, you know, it, it'll get the job done uh, for while we build the, the main base. And we'll go from there. 
So as far as exactly how I want to set this up, I haven't totally decided yet. <laughs> but I figure it's just going to be a lot of manual storage here. You know, separated by, you know, various categories like, you know, food, valuables, you know, like uh, diamonds, emeralds, iron, gold, that thing, redstone, uh, redstone and redstone components, and then, like, other stuff. And probably going to do, like, dirt and cobblestone in, like, a uh, a mass storage of sorts, not actually stored in here. Uh, stone brick I might store in here, things like that. You know, stuff I'm not going to get it a whole ton of, but... You know, regular cobblestone and dirt. I think I'm gonna make up a, a separate storage silo for them. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get this put together. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this in a little bit of a time lapse. So, be right back. And welcome back, everyone. So I've got the storage room pretty much in. Um, probably gonna do a couple tweaks here and there. Um, not super happy about the entrance yet. I mean, I, I I like it, but I think I need to blend it more into the terrain. So I'll probably do that in between episodes. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And yes, I have a dirt ceiling. I'm okay with that. <laughs> this is more of a temporary storage room anyway, so I'm okay with having a dirt ceiling. Or Actually, it's grass because it's, well, it's this level, so, yeah. <laughs> so that's the other reason why I'm not taking it out. I could put, like, half slabs on the top or something like that, but I'm not too fussed about it. So, just a couple more things that I want to do in here before I sign off. Let's go ahead and put crafting bench right in the middle there. I think that'll work out pretty good. And in between episodes, I'll do the sorting on this, figuring out exactly what goes where and all that good stuff. Get that all set up. And beyond that, we do need to make it so mobs cannot <laughs> come in and say hi unexpectedly. Sure. Let's start with... So let's try oak to start with. Go ahead and make... An oak gate. And I suppose I should make a couple of fences too. Or I might make the entire span uh, gates, but don't worry about that just yet. Go ahead and make a couple pressure plates. You know, I probably only need one, but whatever. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it there. And then the pressure plate, right there. So that'll work for keeping mobs out. It may not be the, the absolute best solution, but I think it, it fits in well. So, okay with that. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. But until next time guys, have a good one.